What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys, welcome to part two with this Gruul aggro list. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying this one. The first time I played a Gruul aggro deck, I did not love it. Uh, that was pre-Akoria. Um, this one I'm finding to be quite fun. Uh, it's got a lot of cool tech, so it's actually working pretty well against a lot of different decks. Uh, let's see. This is a not great keep. Um, no red here. I'm gonna have to mulligan this, I think. Ooh. Oh no. We're gonna have to do it again. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, we're keeping this. Um, gonna put you back, and we're gonna put you back. This is so bad. All right, let's try it. We got Paradise Druid. That's helpful. I don't like having to put uh, what should we call it back? Uh, nope, can't do that. Let's do this. I don't like putting uh, Questing Beast back. That's a bad card to have to put back, but it's okay. We'll do what we can. And we're against Mono Red. Fantastic. Um, I'm actually... Uh, I've kind of mentioned this before. I like actually trading one for one with a lot of these red decks. Uh, most of the time, they don't like it, uh, which is great for us. So let's throw this out here. We'll put a 1-1 counter on it. It blocks most of what they're going to do. Um, and a lot of times, they don't run Lava Coil, so they can't just outright kill this um, unless they kind of double up. Oh, it looks like they might be Gruel, too. They're going to double up. So we just burned two cards in their hand for the price of one. So at the very least, we're getting a little bit of extra value. So that's good. Uh, we'll get Clothis down. And now we're just kind of hoping to draw something good. Because if we don't, we're in bad shape. But not much we can do. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll just take Robber. Deal two, gain two, that's nice. Let's go ahead and throw this out there. We're gonna go one one counter again. Um, they've already burned half their shocks, so uh, my assumption is they've got two more, but I'd rather play this out with a plus one, plus one on it. That feels a little bad. Um, let's get that. Let's see. So we're not gonna be able to activate that. Um, Let's attack. They're not willing to risk this, I assume. We'll pass. Let's play this out. And we'll put another 1-1 counter on it. Um, I was kind of hoping they would block, but obviously they weren't going to. I would be more than willing to make this trade, despite the fact that they are up on cards. Um, that feels really bad, but we're kind of filling the yard which is good. Um, no blocks here. We're going to take a decent hit, but we we are at 24. We're feeling okay. Yep. I've really been impressed with Clothis in this deck. Um, rather su surprisingly. Uh, I didn't actually think this card was like amazing, I will say. Um, but it's been fantastic. Absolutely loved it. Um, Whoops. Let's go ahead and attack. Please block. Please block. Uh, we're going to lose this guy, but that's fine. We're going to trade at the very least. And we got him down to six. So they are on a time crunch here. Um, and we've got more than enough cards in the graveyard to kill him in three turns. So... If we can manage to stay alive, we are good to go. That sucks, though. That definitely puts a damper on the plan. Um, let's exile this. Throw this out there. And we'll pass. At this point, we're just in stay alive mode. Um, we've got enough cards in the graveyards so that this is going to kill them in two turns, regardless of what they do. So we really just have to be... Alive long enough. <laughs> yep, 
Yep. Um, that has trample, so we can't do too much about that. Let's do this, and let's do this. I assume at some point they're going to just, like, drop out an Ember Cleave, which is going to suck, but not much we can do. Sure. So next turn, we're dead. Um, man, we missed it by a turn, didn't we? Ugh, okay. Well, we lost the first one. We were close, though. We were actually only a turn away from winning, which felt pretty good. Uh, we're dropping frames, by the way, guys. I do apologize. Um, that happens a lot with our network here. So, gotta fix that. Gotta fix it. Hope you're enjoying the new layout, by the way. Um, we're trying to, uh, kind of tailor ourselves a little bit more to mobile devices. We had some some comments saying that was an issue, so certainly trying to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, this is a keep. A very decent keep at that. Go ahead and throw this out there, gain a life. Uh, probably just going to play this out next turn uh, with, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, what are we up against here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Garuda, sure. Play you out. Let's play you out. I'm actually gonna give this haste. They don't have much interaction, so we kind of just need to deal as much damage as quickly as possible. Pelt collector, huh? That's not super helpful. Um, actually, I actually think we just do this. We just kind of need to pile it on as quickly as we can. Um, we're halfway there. If we can get another attack in, we are in decent shape. Um, depending on... They didn't have a mana dork, uh, which is interesting. Dungeon Geist. Okay, yeah, sure. We can kill that. That's fine. Oh, we can kill that twice time. Two times over. Uh, let's do this. This, this. All right. So next turn, assuming they don't have a way to... Uh, interact we actually win but we will see they're one mana away from the uh the garuda here so we should be okay um and it looks like this is a simic version i haven't seen too many just simic versions a lot of the times we're looking at bant oh look at that we won um a lot of times we're looking at like a bant deck or most recently the sultai list uh both of which we have tried out on the channel by the way if you're interested in watching those uh definitely suggest it those are fun ones um if you missed the first video for this one by the way i do recommend checking that one out uh more so than usual mostly because um this particular gruel list has a lot of really interesting tech cards that we don't normally see um and it's actually kind of working out if i'm honest so i can't be too mad uh, Oft makes me think, makes me think, wow, we're looking at like a, is it Phoenix kind of deck? Play Pelt Collector. Surprisingly, we don't see Opt very often. Okay, sure. Hmm. I think we actually played the Druid here. We'll attack in. If they want to trade out for a Paradise Druid, I'm in. They're already down to 14. They've shocked themselves twice, which feels bad, I'm sure. I don't know what this deck specifically is. It's Teamer, but I don't know what exactly it's trying to do. Okay. Sure. Oh, uh, let's play you out. Um, hmm. Can't do that. Let's just do this. Put a counter on it. Just so we can get the counter on Pelt Collector. Uh, we'll do this, but we'll give it haste. Alright. That was like the quickest three games I think we have ever taken part in. We are at less than 10 minutes. Um, and we got three games in. So two wins, one loss. Not too bad. Um, the first video we did actually very well as, as well. Um, I like this list. So the things I will say in best of one, 
this list is going to function way better than in uh, a full match, obviously. Any aggro deck tends to be that way. Um, this one is really, really good because it's teched out against a lot of the meta right now. Um, things like Clothis are really good against anything that has a graveyard interaction. We also have two Graph Diggers Cage, which is very much an out of the norm, uh, best of one kind of card. But with so many like Garuda decks, uh, so many uh, Luris decks, things like that, it's very, very easy to be able to shut those down. So if you can get those cards early, you're usually in pretty good shape. Um, against Mono Red, which is the other, like, the biggest aggro deck, uh, other than, like, the Luris Sacrifice stuff, um, I think we deal pretty well with their stuff if you can one-for-one one trade in the beginning. I've talked a lot about that, where I feel like the, the way to beat Mono Red is just to one-for-one one trade, uh, as much as possible in the beginning until they kind of burn out. Um, because if you're doing that, uh, then that means they can't light up the stage efficiently, uh, which means they're going to have to spend three mana to do it. So they are uh, a little bit more behind there. Um, not only that, but they can't Ember Cleave as efficiently. Uh, and so you get into a position where they're just kind of playing out stuff and hoping to get to the Ember Cleave instead of reliably getting there. Uh, and if they can't reliably get there, then they're not going to be able to win as efficiently. Um, so I kind of think that's the way to do it. And a lot of the stuff in this deck outpowers a lot of the mono red stuff. So it actually works out pretty well. Um, but I do think if you kind of let a lot of the damage come through, you're, you're putting yourself in a bit of a, a bad situation. So that's just my view on it. Clothis also does a lot of work against mono red because you do gain a couple life backs. So it's just kind of incidental life drain. Um, either way, this was a sick deck. I had fun. I like this one. Hopefully you guys try it out. Uh, feel free to check out the list down below. If you've got a different list, share it with us. It can be gruel aggro. It can be literally anything. Uh, we would absolutely love to try it out on the channel. Uh, if you're not entered to win our Aquaria giveaway, you can do that now. Uh, that's going through uh, May 16th is when we're picking the winner. We're giving away a free bundle. Uh, so we'll ship that out to you. All you got to do is subscribe, comment on any video with hashtag Aquaria giveaway, and you are good to go. We'll let you know that you entered uh, just so, you know, no confusion there. So uh, regardless, though, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe if you are not already. Uh, and we will see you next time in the next gameplay video.